Hey guys, um, I was just going to show you my uh, solar heater that I made out of 272 soda cans. Um, actually, we got this, uh, came across a house that had solar hot water heat in the 70s, and it had been all unhooked, parts were missing. They didn't want the panels, they said we could have them, so we got them. It gave us great aluminum frames and some great white glass. Um, disassembled them, put the, the uh, 272 cans in it painted them flat black. Uh, this is a uh, floor register down here and a floor register up there. Um, inside I got some baffles running at angles. The uh, way mine works is it pulls cool air from inside the house, passes through the fan, 1500 CFM squirrel cage, goes down whoosh, into here, passes through, picks up the heat, up to the top, and runs all the way across my house, 35 feet, and dumps down in two different areas. I've got it teed, and uh, works pretty well. I have a 15, 17 degree temperature drop from traveling that distance. That's the only downside, but as you can see, i got another space there. We're going to put another one right next to it, and when we do it, we are going to use the corrugated aluminum, or even corrugated tin. Uh, guys, the, the soda cans just take too much time, and they really don't work that well compared... I mean, they work great, but not much better than the corrugated aluminum, so... So we're going to do that. Um, it might be something you consider, if you don't believe me, uh, make you a couple little test ones and try it. You'll find the difference is minimal, and uh, the work you've got to do for all the soda cans is just... Gosh, it's just never-ending, the gluing, the painting, the cutting, etc., etc. So, uh, might keep that in mind, but... Uh, I got a little snap switch up there, 115 degrees, she'll kick on. Uh, I got it mounted on the side of my house, and the way it works is pretty simple. Um, in the summer, the sun's high, uh, hits the glass at just the angle, but it doesn't, I don't know, something, the trajectory's wrong, and uh, something with that solar glass, that white glass, it, it uh, doesn't let the light pass through as easy. And also my eave, it's so big, that uh, basically in the summer it's pretty well protected, and I just disconnect the top, and it really doesn't get that hot. It actually runs hotter in the winter than it does in the summer because of the trajectory of the sun. So we're in November. The sun angle is getting closer and closer to where it should be. And each day it's getting a little warmer. And uh, it'll work all the way up until late spring, and then the sun will begin to rise, and it'll stop working. And so the mountain on the side of the house is actually pretty cool because it... It works when you want, and then during the summer it's uh, out of the sun, so you don't have to seal it off, protect it, take it down, any, anything like that. So, but just thought I'd share that with you guys, a little bit of information. Uh, good luck if you got one, you got any ideas, uh, I'd love to hear about them. But uh, we'll get that other one up here in another month or two, and then we can uh, do some real testing. I'll show you the inside of it and everything, but thanks for watching.